Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing for you. Series videos I've been doing for a little while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I've been meaning to review these damn things for like two weeks now. I just keep forgetting to. But here we are. We'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is not the case in this particular instance, though. Uh, this was a situation where I... I Bought this probably about maybe three weeks ago, I want to say. And then it was in my pantry for a little while, and then eventually I tossed it in my car, because typically if I want to review something, I'll just toss it in my car before work, and then when I get off work, I'll review it. It's a nice system. But sometimes shit gets lost in the shuffle, sometimes I just end up, you know, reviewing other stuff, or sometimes I just don't feel like reviewing stuff at all. It all happens. And that's kind of what happened with this particular thing. It's just been in my truck for a couple weeks. Luckily, given what it is, I don't think that should affect it in any way. So, But, what is it? What am I reviewing for you folks? What are we doing here? Well, it happens to be, boom, it's chips! Specifically from HERS, H-E-R-R apostrophe S. And then, these are Grillmates Montreal Steak Seasoned Potato Chips. So I guess they're, they're potato chips from hers, but then they're seasoned with like a grill mates, uh, you know, Montreal steak seasoning kind of thing. Sure, man. Uh, it says, get fired up about flavor. When two legendary flavor makers join, choice, join, force, bleh, join forces, the result is one epic snacking experience for you. So when we set out to capture the authentic Montreal steak flavor, we turn to the masters of great grill mates. The bold combination of peppers and garlic on fire grilled steak is perfectly delivered in a classic ripple chip. If you love the savory, unique taste of Grill Mates Montreal steak, then blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, yeah, all right, why not? And then let's, uh, let's get a thing for the thing that looks like this. Ha, 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 Now, I'm going to say this right now. I have had hers chips before on occasion. Um, pretty good. I think I might have even reviewed some a while ago. I have never had Montreal steak. I have never had Montreal steak seasoning. So I cannot speak to the authenticity. I can only tell you on whether or not it's any good. So, let's open it up. Hoo wee! That has got some stank on it, son. Um, is that garlic or is that the pepper or what? I don't know. Let's find out. But it looks like this. I mean, doesn't look as nice as it does on the thing on there it's like nice and it's got a nice kind of like nice little sheen to it this is a little bit more anemic but um okay um I get what they're going for with it. I could definitely see this as being a steak seasoning. However, I could see this being a steak seasoning. Not so much a chip seasoning. On a steak, I could see this working really well with a nice, big, savory steak. You know, letting it soak in those amazing, you know, just steaky juices, all that good stuff. I could see that being perfect for this. On a chip, however... It's a bit much. It tastes exactly like what it is, which is effectively just some chips with some steak seasoning on them. It just, yeah, I don't know. There's no subtlety to it. It's just, it is exactly what it is. Granted, it's not trying to be anything else, but I question whether or not it was the best decision. Oh, and I have to mention this. I've only eaten one chip. You saw me do it. Here's the bag. You, It happened every time, folks. Here's the bag. It's about the size of my head. I got a big ass head. Go over there. 
That's how many chips you actually get. Far smaller than the size of my big ass head. Until they change something, I'm going to keep doing it. I don't care. Call me insane, I'm just going to keep rolling. But, yeah, there's definitely like a peppery kind of thing going on with it. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of garlic and onion, like, there's literally salt, garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, like, a lot of garlic. Um, and you can taste it, too. It's honestly a bit much. The chips themselves are okay, but... I was expecting them to be a little bit crispier. Like, I wanted, like, a proper, like, ruffles, you know, like, you bite into it, like, crunch. These, there's a crunch, to be fair, but they're a little bit more airy, you know? They don't have quite the same, uh... Yeah. They're just not quite as substantial, but they're not bad. Um, but I wouldn't classify them as being, like, an A-tier, an A-tier potato chip. And then, yeah, I mean, with the steak seasoning, it's kind of a mix between, like, a pepperiness. It gives it kind of a nice little heat. Garlickiness, which also gives it maybe a little bit of a heat as well, but really just heavy on that garlic flavor. And then just kind of like a general sort of, like, savory, spicy mix. You know, like, again, I could see this working perfectly on a steak. Um, because I think it would just work well, you know, it would just accentuate the things that a steak does well. Everything there makes sense. On a chip, though, I don't know, it just feels like a bit much. You don't really taste the potato chip, you really just taste the seasoning, and it just, it seems like something that, like, you know, like a kid would come up with instead of, like, a major company. I think the idea is there, but, like, I think they need to be a little bit more subtle with it, with the application play with it a little bit, you know, and I'm sure they did try to be fair, but I don't know. I'm somebody who likes some bold flavor on my chips, but I don't just want it to taste like steak seasoning. Even when, yeah, it's steak seasoning flavored, I, I want it to, you know, I want to still be able to enjoy the chip and everything. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? Uh, on occasion and sure-ish, for me personally, like, these are definitely not going to be all of a sudden favorite flavored chip, chip. Excuse me. I'm going to drink some Gatorade Lightning Blast, which, by the way, I reviewed. So if you're interested, I might take Circle K exclusive. Um, there we go. I needed to cleanse my palate. Um, yeah, I think for me, for like I said... They would never be, like, go-to chips for me. But I do at least appreciate the uniqueness of it. I do appreciate that, even though it's a bit blunt, they are exactly what they say they are. They ain't fucking around, and you do get a lot of flavor from them. Those are commendable aspects, or attributes, in my personal opinion. Um, they're just, again, for me, they're just a bit much, and again, they are just very blunt with the flavor. But I can still see grabbing them every now and again. You know, every now and again. Not as a regular thing, but just, you know. And if I'm recommending them, like, if you run into them and they sound appealing, give them a go. And especially, you know, hey, maybe you have experience with Montreal steak flavor. Maybe that'll entice you even more. But it is, it's one of those things where I would try these more for the novelty of it more than me going over there and, like, expecting people to fall in love with it. Maybe if you're, like, super into steak, you know, and I mean, I like some steak, don't get me wrong, but, like, maybe if you just love that experience and this is, like, your, you know, um, like, your Nicorette gum equivalent, you know, where you're like, ah, I can't have any more steak, well, I don't know, eat one of these chips, I guess. That's about the people who I would think that these would be for, but they're kind of fun for what they are, so I can, you know, I'd still kind of recommend them. Five things for you out here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Dependence rest of your folks. Here we have ourselves a truly steak-tastic rest of your life. Steak is just good, man. It's just, it's one of those things. You know, to be fair, if you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, what have you. 
you know, there's like cauliflower steak and other options. I, I, folks, I don't know, you know, I do occasionally review some vegan and or like plant-based alternatives and stuff like that on the show, but you know, I, I'm very clearly an omnivore, so, uh, Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, here's what I want you to go out and do. Have you? Do you have any personal experience with Montreal steak? Or even beyond that, how about just, you know, the, uh, the McCormick or whatever, grill mates, I guess, do you use any of their seasonings? Are they a good seasoning to go for? I don't know. I don't grill. You know, my my only grilling experience was like, you know, God, back, you know, when I graduated high school, we all kind of got together at this one friend's place that's sort of a communal spot. And he just, like, we went over there. We got, like, some cheap-ass hot dogs and hamburgers. I went with him to go over there. We got the charcoal together. And, you know, I think I, like, manned the grill for like a total of like, I don't know, two minutes before I was like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. It's And it's my graduation too, so get fucked. And uh, yeah, from what I recall, the uh, they didn't turn out very well. They were very raw from what most people were telling me. I didn't need any. But oh, I am genuinely like, you know, like I know, like I said, I'm, Montreal steak, that's new to me. I mean, I'm sure Montreal has steak, but I didn't realize there was like a specific flavor profile. If you have had that, let me know. I'd be very interested to see kind of, you know, is it something worth investing in? Who knows? Maybe I'll end up in Montreal. Watch your back, Montreal. That's all I'm saying. Bye!